without Voss. Afridi left arm over balls to Wells. It's pushed up towards mid on. And the Statham then. Well, it's defenders just jabbing the ball back down the pitch. It bounces beyond the reach of the bowler. Alex Hales yeah. can't be shy, can you? I guess. No. Afridi to, uh, to Salt. Just drops it to square leg. And shuffles through for a quick single. Yeah, turning ones into twos with the big boundaries. Key to success. Wells waiting, something tall in the crease. Back of length delivery, up and over point. It's going to be four more flashed away by Luke. <laughs> That's the issue with it. Yeah. Yeah. 55 without loss. Here's a Freedy. Full ball to Wells. Keeps the ball out crucially from a Lancashire. It's a must ball. <laughs> Two left of the fifth over. A Freedy in forward as Wells. Just squeezes the ball away off the front foot. Up towards back. Being just a little earlier than what he would have otherwise thought. Into Wells. Handsome looking dry, but straight into the ring of fielders. Into to Daryl Mitchell. Just flicked off the hip. A little uppishly, but safe enough. The legs. Yeah. Freedy balls to Livingston. That's squirted out towards Long on and gone. <laughs> Alex Hales comes up from the boundary. A Freedy celebrate. To De Grandon. There's a new batter. A Freedy in. That's flashed off the pads down towards deep back with square leg. There's a race on here. Dive comes in. And the ball's flicked back. The run. Three in the end, Colin Munro does ever so well. De Grandon. We've got Afridi tearing his way in. Balls to Mitchell, who flicks it up towards mid-wicket. Up and over, and caught, no, put down in the in the crowd. Six for Mitchell, 176 for four. It's a re As if it almost encouraging the ball up and over the rope. Afridi balls again, hit high, back over his head. This is six more, with a bit of VAT on it. Successive sixes for Mitchell. Five sixes and three fours in that. Afridi balls again, <laughs> turns him round and he defends back down the friction. A rather grumpy fast bowler picks it up and says to De Grandon, get back in your crease, says he. Away from getting it up to 200. So Afridi to Mitchell. Uh -huh. Oh, he's stepping across the stumps and scooping the ball. Maybe all the way for six, it has. I think it bounced on top of the rope. And leg. 198 for four. Afridi in, balls, and he stepped right across the stumps and tries to flick it over the keeper again. Outlaws are saying, well, hang on, the batter's gone right across. He's gone past off stump. And Stephen Mullaney just asking the question about that, the, the umpire explaining it. Of course, when the batter moves, the, the wide lines move with them. But clearly, the umpire reckons that even with that, mm. it's a wide. I think uh, it's a bit unlucky there on Shaheen. I, Mitchell had moved so far over, he was pretty much standing on the wide line. <laughs> He's on the if he bowled it at the stumps, he probably would have bowled him out. He, he wouldn't have reached it. <laughs> well, that wide pushes Lancashire to 199 for four. Afridi to Mitchell. It's a great Yorker. Brings the bat down. Ball squirts away through mid-wicket. He'll actually come back for two. He's bowled a really good Yorker there, hasn't he, Afridi? He's actually conceded two, and it brings up Lancashire's 200. I'll tell you what, he speared that in. That had a few extra miles in it there into, into the toes there. I think uh, Mitchell was just trying to avoid breaking foot. Managed to get his foot out of the way and jam the bat onto it, but... I think he'll be trotting down there, just thankfully he didn't get that on the end of the toe. So 201 for four, four balls remaining. Still damage could be done here. Mitchell waits, swings up and over, cover. Who's after this one? Oh, he's put down. Dive. Run back for two. Uh, you uh, knots do look like they're a bit rusty. They're, they're fielding today, hasn't quite been on. They'll be disappointed. It's coming a long way in from the deep cover boundary. Full length dive. The ball bursts through his fingers. 203 for four. Afridi to Mitchell. Just drill down to Long on. Hales fields. They want to come back and run two. That's really good running. They've turned what looked like just a kind of a single into, into two. Squeezing every run they can here at Lancashire Lightning. 205 for four. Yeah, I think uh, Hales just didn't even expect that. He almost assumed that it could only be one because they've gone straight to him quite firmly down at Long on. And I think he's feeling a little bit embarrassed. Would have been out if, if it hit the stumps. Direct hit. But... Uh, Shouldn't have let that two in there. Two balls left. Afridi to Mitchell. It's driven away through the offside. Up towards wide, long off. And then they turn and come back for, for a couple more. It's pushed Darrell Mitchell to 85, not out. From 40 balls, four fours and six sixes. <laughs> he looks like he's breathing heavily <laughs> as well. <laughs> Just a bit, yeah. <laughs> I think he, uh, he's not such a fan of the big boundary now anymore. I think he <laughs> <laughs> a few less twos, I think he'd be quite happy. Final ball of the innings for Lancashire Lightning. afridi has gone for 47 so far. In and balls. Uh, ball goes through to the keeper. Morse tries to run out the Grandon. They've gone through for a bye. 
And that completes the over. And still, I think, Afridi speaking to the umpire about that wide. He's upset the big fast bowler <laughs> as the umpire. 208 for four at the end of the 20 overs. Um, so 209 is the target to uh, to win. Afridi's not happy. He's a grumpy fast bowler.